The best advice I could give any mortgage professional, but especially women, is to never give up. So many loan officers get to that 99 yard line and decide that this isn't for me, or I'm never going to cut it, or I'm never going to close that big deal, or I'm never going to make the kind of money that I want to make. And so they quit while they're ahead, not even knowing it. And my success has really been, ba been based upon not quitting. And believe me, there's been days that I wanted to quit. There's been months I've wanted to quit. But sticking with my belief system and, um, and learning, the, the learning, learning how to uh, implement systems and learning how to um, build these iron cages around my clients, it ensures a pipeline. It's like having a life insurance policy in place in the mortgage business. By learning these success principles and applying them and just you know, keep trudging forward, that's been my success. I think one of the biggest challenges women loan officers in particular have today is charging what they're worth. Um, for many years as a loan officer, I always felt that to be justified or to get the deal, I had to drop my fees. And what that did essentially was tell my borrower that I wasn't worth what I was willing to charge. Now I quickly learned that having expert status and specializing in a niche justified me charging what I was worth, which whether it's one point, two point, three points, it's whatever you think you're worth is what the borrower is going to pay. The advice I would give female originators today, especially in this environment, being, uh, being filled with males and you know, being on a roller coaster ride in the mortgage business would be to find balance. Women have a hard time finding balance. They're pulled in so many different directions and it's easy to burn out in this business. I've been there dozens and dozens of times. Fortunately, I had really good mentor mentors. I had uh, coaches and I educated myself on how to find this balance. And it wasn't as simple as everyone makes it seem. It was trial and error. But I had great support from my spouse, I had great support from my employees, and I again surrounded myself with like individuals. And the one thing, I found one thing that I excelled in, and that was holding my borrower's hands. As corny as it may sound, holding my borrower's hands got me, got me ahead of the game. Because I cared and because I was willing to listen to their problems, they trusted me. And when you have trust, um, with a financial decision, you've got a client for life, and it's pr pretty much that simple. The only way, in my opinion, to have balance in your life is to have systems in place and to know how to delegate. That is the, the true recipe to my success. If you look back four years ago at my mortgage career, you would have seen me not delegating, no systems, and stressed out working 80 hours a week while having four children and a high maintenance husband. And as soon as I figured out how to put systems in place to start trusting others, delegating to others, I quickly learned that I could, I could build my career around my life versus building my life around my career. And fortunately, I learned sooner than later.